Hi, I'm Mr. Rosas. I teach physics at Southwest High School. I've been teaching for 26 years now at Southwest High School. Uh, let me share something with you. Uh, let me share my screen so you can see something. Now you go to my Google Classroom and there you will find uh, what we do in class every day. Uh, what I did this year, I did it also last year. I started labeling as day one, day two, day three, day four, instead of sections on the book. This matches what we teach, but it's on the book. But I found it, um, I found that the students find it easier in what we do, uh, if you follow a sequence. Uh, I also in there place the homework. I place the homework in PDF so that my students can see uh, the problem. And uh, I also place the homework in HTML. Uh, let me show you. And so if the student clicks on the Dropbox, they get the exact same problems. I want you to look at them. Uh, here is the problems in PDF in case they wanna work on it. And then once they wanna submit, they go to the HTML file, like they go to the inbox, they write their name, ID, email, and they submit the, the homework. Now, the good thing about it is they get an immediate uh, score. If they get 100%, uh, they get 100% if they place, uh, if they click on the, uh, on the bar that says grade and submit. Uh, if they're not sure about the answer, they can start over. I encourage my students to work together and to share the answers with other people before they submit. I think it's, it's, uh, it, it's better for them. So if a student has does not submit the homework, then they will not get credit. So again, this is how they submit credit and they get an immediate feedback on what got. Um, so, the good thing about placing things on Google Classroom is that they um, uh, they know exactly where the homework is, and they know uh, they know whether they has uh, turned in the assignment. Like for instance, today, twelve people already submitted the assignment, and eleven are still working on it. So these people already know the grade on their homework. Uh, I, I also uh, put the examples that I'm going to do on the board, like today with the free fall. And so I, I draw the pictures and then I take the notes and the students take pictures of the notes at times or they just copy the, the notes. In that folder, in the Google Classroom, I also uh, put the syllabus with my information. Let me zoom in a little. And uh, let me uh, also put the correct, uh, Email, I, I put the wrong one. So the roses at my org, And I apologize for that little mistake. Uh, I just uh, took the old, I'm being honest, I took the old uh, syllabus and I updated uh, the syllabus and I forgot to update this. I also want you to know that I stay after school on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.20 to 4.20. I also stay on every month, every Wednesday and Friday, but I we're working with the club and we are programming in Java. So, uh, you know, that's why I'm not available on those days, but I, I do stay every day in case they want to take a test. Uh, and here is the course description. This is from the publisher. This is what we're gonna cover in our physics class. And so, uh, so there are no surprises. That's those are the exact units of the book. We might not be able to make it to unit eight. Uh, it seems to be a lot of material, but just so that you know. The book I was using is called HMH, Physics on the Universe. The students have a uh, version, a consumable version at home. Uh, they checked it out from the school. They don't have to return it. And then the book is also available online. 
So I'm gonna make it available on Google Classroom as well. Mm. Now, I apologize to parents because I don't let the students uh, go more than twice uh, uh, during the semester to the bathroom. And this is for their safety and also so that, not for the safety, but I, I don't want them to be in the restroom all the time. So if you want your uh, son or daughter to be in that restroom more often, uh, go to the office and they let him know, but uh, it, I, don't, I don't think it's good if they spend too much time in the restroom. And if we let them go every day, they will go every day. Uh, so I apologize to you ahead of time for that. If you have any concerns regarding that, uh, talk, talk to me. But I do let them go twice during the semester. Tests, there were 200 points. Homework is between eight and 20 points. Usually it's about 10 points. I don't like to overwhelm the students. Labs and projects are about 20 to 30 points. And then the final exam is worth um, 200 points. Uh, you know, classroom rules are the normal. We don't let students use cell phone or uh, gaming devices. Um, we don't want it to disrupt the lesson. You know, not only is it rude, it's also distracting. Some students are tired and they want to take a nap. You know, we don't allow it. Uh, uh, or doing some, you know, like English homework or homework for another class or in my class, I don't let them. Uh, printing is no longer a problem because most of the times, uh, like I'm not printing that many uh, sheets or tests. Most of the stuff is going to be on the computer since they have access to a classroom. Stop by my classroom um, Tuesday through Friday. I'm there after school. Um, I'm also available for the students' help uh, at around 7.30. That's when I, I get to my classroom. I'm also there during advisory. If they get permission from their uh, teacher. And I'm also available during first lunch. Um, and again, Thanks for everything. Um, let me. Oh, oh, okay, okay. And it, I think thanks for your attention. Again, feel comfortable. If you have any questions, any concerns, I am there for your uh, for your child. Now, one thing I do offer my students is. If they help each other uh, and they don't let anybody fail, I give them an extra 10% on at the end of the semester. So it's an incentive so that they can work together as a team. Um, so I encourage you, your uh, children to, to work in teams. Uh, and again, have a good night. <laughs>